Shabbat Shalom Rabotai. In this week's parasha, Parashat Miketz, we see something that's very odd. We see that Yosef is praised for being the only man who can interpret Paro's dreams. And we have to ask ourselves, how could it be that this was the only person who was able to interpret the dreams? Any school child, when they finally hear about the story, and then they hear the progression, and then they hear what the interpretation was, they say, ah, oh, of course, it makes sense. Skinny cows, the fat cows, ingesting them. Same thing with the shibolim. It seems very logical. How could it be that viceroys, officers, and scholars were unable to pick apart Paro's dreams and come out with the correct interpretation? And what was Yosef's ma'ala that he was able to do so? Our rabbis teach us something very profound, that it wasn't necessarily in the interpretation. It could have been that the, Egyptian, that the Egyptian scholars, they knew the interpretation, but what? They did not want to give any negative information to Paro. They were scared of him. They didn't want to tell him, guess what? Your empire, your nation is going to hit a difficult time. They thought that Paro would not accept this. And they thought that, you know what, when I criticize the king and say, you know what, this is going to happen, off with their heads. They would have died. And Paro would not have listened at all. Yosef understood that even if it was something negative, even if it was something bad for Mitzrayim, and even if he had to say it in front of Paro, it must be said. And that, Rabotai, is a lesson in something that we call tochecha, giving a person rebuke. It's very difficult, as the Gemara states, nowadays to give anybody rebuke, telling them that they're doing something wrong and trying to correct it. And yet, it's still our responsibility. When we see somebody doing something wrong, it, we can't just look the other way and say, you know what, ah, let him be him and me be me, and I'll just let him be. No, we have to show a deep-rooted care for our fellow Jew, not only in physical matters, not only in monetary matters, but of course in Torah and mitzvot. And that's something that Yosef understood. That when he saw something that was going to be wrong, I don't care who I'm telling it to. I need to say the emet. I need to say the truth. And I need to help the situation rather than hurt it. Of course, when giving rebuke, you need to consult with somebody. You need to make sure that you think hours, days, even months as to how to give this rebuke. But nevertheless, it is our responsibility. Be'ezrat Hashem, we will take the lesson of Yosef and the interpretation of the dreams and make sure to guide our fellow friends on the correct path of Torah and Mitzvot. Amen. Shabbat Shalom.